Sandor Nagy, who is the Hungarian ambassador to Austria. Thank you very much. If I look at my watch, I have to recognize that if we want a uh, roundtable discussion, we have to shorten dramatically the statements. So I have prepared myself, but I will not read up my statements uh, in order to have enough time for discussions. So just uh, let me make you maybe very freely three or four remarks uh, on the Hungarian uh, perspective. Uh, first of all, we are luckier than the Ukrainian people and the Russians because we don't have to fight in person. Don't forget that we don't want uh, to, uh, to be at, uh, at the front. And uh, our countries, uh, including uh, my country, Hungary, we have to fight only uh, with the consequences of this war, which, which are also tremendous. I will speak very briefly on the food, on the price, high prices in food and, and energy, but it is very crucial that at the moment we don't have to fight, but we have to help the Ukrainian people to fight against uh, the uh, aggression. And this is the European and the NATO position as well, uh, providing weapons uh, to the Ukrainian people and uh, harming Russia, um, uh, introducing sanctions. The war brought uh, many uh, negative effects on our life. But there was one positive issue as well at the very beginning in the, Euro in the history of the European Union, namely the war, the situation uh, in the Ukraine unified the European uh, member states, the 27, in, a, in an appropriate way, which was never the case uh, before. I think this is a value. It was the case until the European uh, Commission proposed uh, uh, the um, sanction package number five. At the sanction package number six, uh, there was already a, um, a red line coming for Hungary, namely in the position of energy uh, security. There are many countries among the 27 who are facing a much more difficult time after uh, stopping um, oil, or even gas from Russia than other ones who has, for example, a direct access to, uh, to, to the sea and they can order uh, uh, gas or oil uh, via tankers, for example. Uh, in the case of Austria, for example, Hungary, Czech Republic or Slovakia, we are so-called landlocked countries and the situation in that countries are very different to the situation in Holland, in Poland or even in France. And uh, plus, um, there are many countries who has inherited, and this is very important, it is, uh, they have inherited uh, an infrastructure which was coming or built up in the uh, former Soviet times, and oil and gas was coming uh, only uh, from, from Russia. Hungary, the Hungarian government tried to um, make uh, energy diversification, but it is not an, an uh, easy uh, issue. Our embassy um, organized an event maybe two weeks ago, and we had a special guest. His name is uh, David Beasley. He is, um, is the uh, general director of the world largest uh, humanitarian organization. It is called the World Food Program. And uh, he told us that he is constantly visiting 60 different countries in the world. And he is uh, responsible for giving food for 200 million people. And he told us that the situation, because of uh, the corn is not coming out of Ukraine and Russia, um, 400 million Africans are expected uh, to move from Africa to Europe in the upcoming time. So this is also one of the consequences uh, of this war, which is uh, made in, in the Ukraine between Russia and uh, Ukraine. The European member states are practically since 2008, 9 um, in a kind of crisis management uh, modus. And now we are facing another challenge, which is the war. And unfortunately, we do not see what time this war goes to the end. We cannot see at the moment what is the real aim of Putin. Ms. Leves Ferenc tried to give us a historic uh, view on the past, 
but we cannot assume uh, nothing about uh, the future. So we, we don't really know what, what will be remaining for the Ukraine because we can see already now that this is a kind of territorial war um, by Russia. And we don't uh, know what uh, is awaiting for us. And now I will come and then I will make it uh, also, I, I will come to the end, enlargement of the European Union. Everybody is agreed that, uh, in, I mean in that region, that we have to integrate the West Balkan as soon as possible. I think, and Hungary could support this decision, it was the right decision to give the so-called candidate status to the Ukraine and the Moldova. We do not really understand why not to Georgia, and at the same time, why not to give it to Bosnia and Herzegovina, because it was a clear political decision. Political decision because the first time in the history of the European Union, um, it was first a political decision, like upside down, and then criteria will be fulfilled. And if it is the case, why not uh, for Georgia or why not for Bosnia Herzegovina? And we think that we made a historic failure and we caused damages in these countries in North Macedonia, in Albania, in Bosnia Herzegovina, in Serbia, and Montenegro. And we have to change it. There is a historic moment and we have to integrate the whole Balkan. It is very clear if, you, if we are aware of the, this um, dramatic situation that stability matters. Stability and security is the number one issue in Europe. Thank you very much.